As a part of our crystal special, today we're going to be looking at what kind of crystals exist on this beautiful planet of ours. We've looked at how they work, as well as what you can do with them, and now we're going to look at some crystals that are more commonly used in crystal healing and energy work, so that you know exactly what kind of crystals are best suited for helping you on your path to ascension, as well as the shapes and forms that they come in. Crystal fun fact for the day, almost all crystals grow in hexagons, which we know from sacred geometry is a very pure form that comes out of the flower of life. Supposedly though, there is a very rare crystal that grows in a star tetrahedron or Merkaba form. I've never seen pictures of it, but if anyone out there has information or pictures of such a crystal, I would love to see it, and we could show it to everyone on Spirit Science. Okay, let's start with crystal formations. When a crystal grows on a base called a matrix, it forms what is called a crystal cluster. They generally look something like this and emit a massive amount of positive energy into an environment. They're great for having around your home or workspace. Most crystals grow terminated, which means pointy on one end like this. Sometimes you can find double terminated crystals, which grow in clay pockets instead of on a matrix. They are pointy on both ends and emit energy from both sides. Geodes are another great formation for having around the house. These are mineral products of volcanic bubbles. Very powerful. Crystal spheres are crystals that have been contoured into a spherical configuration. This is one of the most powerful forms a crystal can take because it emits the same frequency in all directions. When held or worn, they purify and fill the gaps in the entire auric field. If you have a larger one, you can gaze into the crystal to help with the evaluation of a present situation or circumstance. If you've ever wondered where the legends about psychics with crystal balls came from, it actually has some substance behind it. Crystal eggs are similar to spheres, but are in an egg shape. These are great for meditation and used in reflexology, zone therapy, acupuncture, and shiatsu. It contains a harmonic balance of male and female energies. Crystal singing bowls are a crystal that has been fashioned into a bowl. You play it by moving a mallet around the outer edge and it creates an absolutely beautiful sound. If you haven't ever heard one of these before, you have to hear it in person. The sound resonates through your entire body at so many frequencies at once. It's amazing. Palm crystals are wide oval shaped pieces which are great for meditation. You can get crystal pendulums, which are dowsing tools for following your intuition. The basic idea is that you hold it in your left hand and ask yourself a question, and allow the pendulum to swing. Depending on the direction, if it swings or goes in circles, it gives you a yes or no answer. Try this one out for yourself, it's actually pretty cool on how it works. Phantom crystals are very cool. These are crystals that grow over top of other crystals, so what you get is a crystal with an amazing crystal phantom in the middle. They're very beautiful, very powerful, and supposedly great for working with past life memories in meditation. A tumble stone is another word for what I call pocket stones. It's a piece of raw crystal that has been tumbled in a metal canister until it's nice and smooth, and feels like a pebble. Great for pockets and pillows. Wands are solid pieces that have been carved or smoothed into a wand shape, and sometimes have metal, wood, or other materials attached to it to design the wand. Wands are excellent for directing energy and healing work or making crystal grids. Okay, now let's look at some crystals themselves. We'll go over the basics and also note that I'm providing a PDF of all of this crystal information so that you can print it out and keep it in your wallet so that you can have a handy quick reference guide to crystals whenever you're out and about. I can't tell you how handy it is to have when you walk into a store like this. Agate is known as the strength stone. Courage and strength for body and mind. Facilitates perceptiveness and precision. Is grounding and energetic. Balances the yin and yang energies within the body. Aquamarine provides emotional and intellectual stability and clarity of the mind, aids with self-expression, calms nerves, dispels intolerance, and helps banish fears and phobias. Amazonite aligns and balances the mental and etheric bodies, calms nerves, aids creative expression, and cuts through illusion, brings joy, clarity, and an understanding of universal love. Rose quartz is the stone of love. It balances, heals, and rejuvenates the emotions, cools hot tempers, clears stored anger, guilt and jealousy, and encourages compassion and harmony. Calcite facilitates an awareness and understanding of nature, aids in the remembering of astral travel experiences, and alleviates fear. Carnelian aids concentration and memory, stimulates the inquisitiveness and dispels apathy, enhances attunement with the inner self. Lapis lazuli enhances awareness and intellect and enhances psychic abilities, helps overcome depression, aids creativeness and protection. Smoky Quartz dispels negativity and releases emotional blocks, 
provides grounding and protects, as well as enhances channeling power. Clear Quartz is the spirit battery, excellent for meditation, amplifies energy and thought, as well as dispels negativity, aids communication with every dimension. Amethyst is the peace stone, ideal for meditation and enhancing psychic abilities, a great calming influence, very protective and inspirational, radiates with divine love. Malachite aids intuitiveness and transformation, balances, clarifies the emotions, and clears the subconscious blocks and reduces stress. Sunstone dissolves negativity while grounding your root chakra and providing the energy of the sun in the palm of your hand, enhances the masculine nature, and is great for working on projects. Moonstone, on the other hand, stimulates confidence and balances the emotions, helps with intuitiveness and perception, enhances the feminine nature, and clears the auric field. Peridot inspires happiness. This one is great for making your days brighter, strengthens and regenerates the individual, and reduces anger and jealousy. Selenite is an excellent stone for pushing further spiritually. It stimulates the third eye and crown chakra and provides clarity of the mind and expands one's awareness of the self and those around you. It is very intense, this crystal. And these giant crystal mines in Mexico are actually selenite. Just remember not to use it in water, as selenite does erode, and you'll be drinking little crystal bits, which probably isn't best for your digestive system. Citrine is the stone of abundance, joyous, warm, and energizing, raises self-esteem, stimulates mental focus, and aids the enlightenment with the higher self, attracts and maintains abundance. Kyanite is a fantastic stone of alignment and strength. It never needs to be cleansed or charged in the sun. It grows in long, fibrous strands, and that's what it does to your energetic body. It strengthens and aligns all of your chakras to each other. Obsidian grounds and protects against negativity, aids in the understanding and clearing of subconscious blocks. Tourmaline is the protection stone, wards off fear and negativity and protects on all levels, enhances inspiration and encourages self-confidence and understanding. Sodalite rationalizes and aids clear thinking, bringing clarity and truth, enhances communication and creative expression. Tiger's Eye brings cheerfulness and optimism, enhances clarity of thought, balances the yin-yang energies, and helps soften stubbornness. Now, what we just looked at were a very basic and simple understanding of all of these crystals. If you really want to dive into each one, there are literally pages and pages of things that you can read about every individual crystal as well. The different properties they have, the energies they hold, the frequencies they emit, and the structure of the crystal themselves, and why it's relevant. There's a lot more that we can go into, and by Googling each one of these crystals yourselves, you can also find tons of more information about these crystals. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. See you next week, where we shall discuss Organite and Tower Busting. Shadow of what's true Illusionary ego